Okay, so I want to show you how to use this uh, Tonga. Now, before I start anything, uh, any kind of overdraw with a device like this can be very dangerous, and I can speak for that from my own stupid mistake. Um, but be careful. In my case, I am learning all this by, you know, trial and error. I'm taking, willing to take that risk, but I'm telling you, it is dangerous. Be careful. I'm using 20 pound, very light uh, Turkish bow. It's fiberglass bow uh, from Alibo, but it's an amazing bow. Cheap, durable, really nice. You basically knock an arrow as you would normally. Open side, the open side of the Tonga goes outside of the bow or shooter, I say. And then you slide this. I usually use my left thumb to support the Tonga and arrow at the same time, and then you push it through all the way. Hold it with the left hand with three pin keys like this. Now I made it look small enough so I only use one finger because I'm not trying to shoot this with heavier poundage bow. So I put my middle finger in and then that finger locks in here, wraps around, hook the thumb under, there you go, and I draw as regular and as I do it, I put slight pressure on to the arrow. And as I release, I take the tonga with me, and then I try to do basic cut shot. Okay, let's take a look. If you can see, if I can zoom in there, that's a pretty good shot. Uh, okay, so let's do that one more time with more details, and I'll go a little bit slower. Not an arrow. Holding the arrow, take your tonga, put it behind, open side out, put it in between bow and arrow, and press it in. I'm putting thumb, I'm putting pressure this way so it stays with me. Put the finger here, wrap my thumb under and the middle finger wraps around as well and I'll hold my thumb there we go I'm zooming out putting pressure and release another decent shot On the next shot, let's do this whistle arrow uh, in a slow-mo. So this is 720, but hopefully I'm shooting 240 frames, so hopefully we'll show a little more details as the arrow flies. There you go. Alright, that's the last one. Yeah, that wasn't clean. But you get the idea. This one, I'm gonna have a tonga in my hand to begin with. And then I have four baby arrows and see how smooth I can go. There you go. Since I've been practicing for about two and a half weeks. And it gives a little bit time to get used to. But once you get used to it, it's not that different, except 
that little bit of a danger <laughs> that you have to risk in the beginning. Especially nobody's teaching you. And you have to learn about everything by yourself. So here we go. It's not that bad. Yeah, so. so I told you about how any kind of overdraw can be dangerous. And that was in the beginning of my archery <laughs> experience. Still learning a lot of things. But this is what can happen. This is solid fiberglass bow again uh, in the beginning of my archery. Uh, adventure. I didn't know what I was doing because I'm finding out as I'm going. <laughs> what I did wrong was when I put the arrow in and then drew all the way and I let go, I pulled out a little too quick and I didn't perform good katra. So what happened was this arrow was all the way back here because the guide was disappeared before it actually goes out of the bow it just went in straight into solid bow it was above my hand so it didn't pierce my hand but cracked the glass here I don't know if you can see that I will zoom in I broke it because I was dumb and I was not uh, informed I guess so please be careful but it is a fun toy so if you like archery and trying different things definitely try it it is it is actually amazingly fun as long as you keep things safe so. all right so have fun shoot safe